Chelsea, just one of those days where nothing, absolutely nothing seemed to go your way. For sure. I mean, we were, they had pressure on us the whole game, and then I have to be making those draws for one, and uh, threw the first one a little heavy, and then probably could have adjusted through the second one, which should have been good, but it was the only spot on the sheet that where if it got to the curl, it was a little slower, and then just couldn't get it figured out after that. And I don't think it's one of those things you could see coming, because you guys felt good after yesterday and coming into today. I had great draw weight all week, and I mean, at the end of the day, that was the difference, so I don't know. I mean, it's just one of those things that happens, but it's pretty unfortunate for it to happen then, but what can you do? Can you reflect on spending a year as Team Canada and how special that experience was? It's been amazing. It's been amazing. It's um, it's an honor and, a, and an absolute, like, we're so grateful and so thankful, and we're hoping for the opportunity to get to do it again, but uh, it's been an incredible year. There's nothing like a hug to make you feel better after a game like that, but obviously just a frustrating afternoon. Yeah, we just didn't have it through the team and I mean when a game like that I've had like an hour to think about it so I'm not even really that upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> Could you, you know Chelsea just said it kind of came out of nowhere too because you guys felt good coming off yesterday and, and draw weight seemed to be there. Uh, could you tell right away today that it wasn't going to be the day? Um, not necessarily. I think certainly we just didn't have things set up right from the get-go which would be admitted. Um, and that just makes it tough, right? Like we're just behind the eight ball and having to make some pretty exact shots early uh, in the game that m we missed barely. So, happens. You got a year as, as Team Canada, and uh, I know you've had that experience before. Just what a privilege. Can you talk about the year as Team Canada, what it meant to you guys? Oh, incredible honor and a privilege. I mean, it was the last thing on my bucket list. I've said that before that I truly never thought I'd get in the game. Uh, and I, I just feel truly honored to have worn the Maple Leaf here. And, you better believe I'll be ready to try to fire it up tomorrow because I don't want to walk away with that kind of game. Well, one step closer, and that's a huge, and you couldn't have asked for a better game. Yeah, definitely. The girls had their draw weight early, and I think that's really key, especially with one game going on um, out here. You know, ice conditions change a little bit, so we knew that we had to pick up on the ice early. And you know what? The girls had, you know, amazing draw weight the whole, the whole game, really, but, you know, that first five especially. You guys clearly embraced the spotlight today and, and just went out and grabbed it. And you must be very proud of the way the girls responded to this situation. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we know coming in that it's going to be a good game and we have to play our best to beat them. And I think we played uh, pretty close to our best. I think that was one of our best games for sure. Right. And just talk about your next opponent. Uh, we know who they are. You've played them enough times over the years. What does it take to beat that team? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I hope we can go out there and play the same. I mean, they're a really good team, but we are too. So anything can happen.